Hello, welcome back on my YouTube channel. In this video I'm going to demonstrate how to add contour lines to a groundwater level map. We'll use two methods. First we'll use the contour line renderer to on the fly create the contour lines. Second we're going to calculate the contour lines and add them to the map with some styling. To render the contour lines from a groundwater map I'm going to duplicate the groundwater level raster that I've created before in another tutorial. I drag the duplicate to the top and I'm going to rename the layer. Remember that a duplicate of a layer is referring to the same data as the original, so I'm not creating a new file, I'm just uh, creating a new style based on the same data. I rename it to contour lines and as you can see it's a copy. I switch it on and then I go to the layer styling panel and make sure that contour lines is the active layer and I choose the contours render which on the fly renders contour lines. I can change here the contour interval to an equidistance of 5 meters, which works best for this data set. And I can indicate a contour interval and I use 25 meters, but you can't see it yet, so I'm going to make some difference by changing the color of the contour lines of 5 meters to gray. I'm going to choose a light gray here. And then the dark black lines are the index contours. With input downscaling you can change the generalization of the lines, but here 4 already gave a good result. The disadvantage here is that uh, you cannot easily add uh, labels and that it cannot be used in uh, further calculations or in your groundwater model. For that purpose we are now going to derive the contour lines from the raster. Go to the raster menu and there under extraction you find contour. In the dialog, make sure you choose the interpolated groundwater level layer here and set the interval between contour lines to an equidistance of 5 meters. You can add an attribute name that will be the field in the attribute table indicating the elevations of the lines, I call it Z. I keep the rest as default. You can also produce here a 3D vector, which is not needed in our case. I'm going to save the file. Note that you can't save it to an existing geo package, so here I just create a shapefile which I can later import in my geo package. This to result, we see that the lines are styled with one uh, color which is uh, randomly assigned. So now we're going to work a bit on the styling. Now the idea is to replicate the styling of the on-the-fly contour renderer that we've used before. But therefore we also need to indicate which lines are the index contours at 25 meter interval. We can derive those through a calculation in the attribute table. So I'm going to open the attribute table, toggle the editing mode and open the field calculator. I'll create a new field which I call index. It's a whole number and it will have only one digit which will be uh, a value 1 for all the index contours. Therefore I need to use a conditional and the conditional that I'm going to use is the if. And if you select uh, a function here in the middle you can find uh, the explanation and examples on the right side. So here I say if the Z field and now I need an operator. I'm going to use this modulo operator which gives us the remainder of a division. So if z is divided by 25 and the remainder is 0, so it means it can be divided by 25, then give me a value 1. If not, then return no data and therefore we can use uh, null. Close the brackets. And here is our expression. So if the remainder of dividing z by 25 is 0, then it's an index value, otherwise return no data. And uh, here I see the result. So we can use that further in the styling. So toggle off editing and uh, save the edits. Now change in the layer styling panel the renderer to categorized for the contours layer and choose the index layer as the value. Then click classify. It will add two values, value 1 
and all other values that captures the no data values. So value 1 here with the random color blue is our index line and uh, the other lines are uh, red. So I'm going to change the color of the index contours to black and of all the other contours to gray. I can use the recent colors to make sure that I have the same colors that I've used before in the contour render. Now I'm going to add labels, which is uh, possible in an easy way uh, with this attribute table. So I switch to single labels and we don't want the ID values, but the Z values there. And here it has placed the labels, but not in a really uh, readable way. So I'm going to go to the placement tab and choose a curved mode. And I want the values on the line. I switch off above line. And for longer lines, I would like it to uh, repeat the value. So it's easier for the reader to see where uh, the line is, what height it is. So I choose a distance of 150 uh, millimeters. That's still not very readable because the values go through the lines uh, and have the same color. So I'm going to add a little text buffer. And I'm going to reduce the text buffer size to uh, 0 0.5 millimeters. And now we have a nice uh, result. So we have our contour lines calculated and the labels added. I can further uh, style this in a print layout to create a map or I can use the contour lines in a model. In the processing toolbox, if you search for contour, you find two different uh, tools. The contour tool is what we have already used. But there's also a tool to create polygons instead of lines, which you sometimes need. I hope this was useful. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you want to receive updates.